I don't think these ladies need that much introduction. Please welcome Kim Kardashian, Kourtney Kardashian, Khloe Kardashian, Kendall Jenner, and Kylie Jenner. You know, into we obviously love a lot of the same things, but then we're you know have such different passions. Whether you know Kylie loves her makeup, and you know she's really into you know showing a lot of her dogs and the things that's at her house. Kendall is always running around all over the world, modeling and has these amazing adventures. Courtney has you know this whole mom life that's so inspiring, and Chloe with her fitness and. Mine is kind of, you know, fashion and we all have tutorials. So we all just have such different personalities that we're so excited to share that and give this like an extra in-depth glimpse as of who we are. It may seem like we're all together. I feel like we're definitely not all in the same place at the same time. So you begin like this kind of gives you an inside look into what we're all doing at our own individual times. So, like we're all in different cities. She was just in China, so like we're not always together. So it's a good way to show that. And it's more like on the fly where Mine is on the fly, I have some that I shoot on a GoPro as well, but then I also have a lot of tutorials that set up with. So mine, I don't have very much, I, I will, but I don't have as much like sit down, like set situations as they do. Like our connection to our fans, because I think this is our own social media platform. Like we have question and answers where we can log on from our phones at any time and, you know, connect to them, live stream, chat. Um, I love my connection with my fans, and I know all of us do. And I think this is just an even more in-depth way to share. You know, on Instagram, I love Instagram, and I share so many photos. But sometimes, you know, people do get annoyed if you share too many photos. Also, on Instagram, I feel like you post one photo from one, from one event or one situation, you have so many more photos behind that, so you can show the rest of the photos that aren't as similar to the one that you posted on Instagram. Your descriptions and, and video, and, you know, for me on my app, I do, I've done a lot of unique photo shoots just for the site and just for the app, something, you know, that would just make it a very happy, up uplifting place, not a negative place, um, because I don't think that's really good for anybody's soul. Constructive criticism is always good, but, you know, that, that makes it a little scary when you have a teenager that wants to get into social media, but that's why I would probably look to Kendall and Kylie, because they deal with that on a daily basis, and they're so good at handling all of that um for every single one of our apps we want them to be a positive place and yes we do want to hear from our fans that there's going to be a way to do that where things are still filtered because we want to start changing the way of social media and having it be from all positives and that's why each one of our blogs we are bringing something good a take home a tutorial i'm sure like, everyone wants to know about my fitness routines and you get an inside glimpse of that how to make yourself better mind body and soul just to write about what we wanted to write about, not really have any restrictions. We kind of make the rules and, you know, whether it's rumors we want to shut down, stories we want to tell, photos we want, like, I just felt like there was no other platform that could do it all. I found in the Apple store, 
make sure you download the Apple Store app so you can see our calendar of events. You can also go to apple.com slash soho. If you go to apple.com slash soho, you'll see a cool suite of events.